Hello traders and welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PIFX. Today we're going to talk about how and when to use the entry after confirmation and of course we're going to take a look at all the measures including gold and oil for the upcoming week. So while I wrote the entry and disclaimer please guys hit that like button it helps the video a lot and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe. See you there. Welcome back guys. So entries on confirmation. Why to use them, how and when. Today we're going to talk uh, about all that. So last week in our uh, trading room I sent a update as I usually do during the day for our uh, traders and it was uh, this one here that we're going to talk about at uh, USD Jappy. Uh, and I wrote soon time for this to pop up. The big question is will it pop up following the short term trend or down following uh, the major trend to the downside. Best to wait out a couple of 15 uh, minute candles outside of the flag and then follow the move. And what we had uh, at that time, we had this USD Jappy been trending to the upside on the one hour time frame nicely and uh, putting a nice uh, bullish flag or pennant. So if you go to the chart at that one hour time frame here uh, and explain a little bit what been going on. So the market reached 105 here, got rejected and start trending to the upside. Uh, we had a break above previous structure, nicely strong move to the upside. And then we start seeing this consolidation and this consolidation phase here gave us a nice bullish pennant. Yeah, usually uh, you get the uh, or flag, something like this. You expect the market to uh, break out and continue higher. But this market was testing a key area looking left. So where we had this uh, last week, if we look left, we had a lot of structure looking at this area here. It was an area of uh, support previously and resistance and a lot of uh, troubles uh, at this level here. So we were not sure if this will really break and continue higher following the short term trend. And that's why I was a little bit cautious. Will this market continue to the downside following the major trend or break higher? So there is in trading, there is no need to start get things, uh, things or uh, knowing stuff, uh, pretending that you know that uh, the direction of the market never do that. It will never be good for you. So in this case, uh, there was um, this um, pennant once again. And uh, as a, as you saw in my update in our trading room, my my advice was to uh, wait a couple of 15 minute candles outside of the flag, no matter if they're going to be to the upside or to the downside. And I sent the update somewhere near this uh, area. And when the market start doing uh, something like this, it's going to be untradeable soon and they will uh, break out. And uh, if you are not sure where the breakout going to happen, that is when you start looking for entries after confirmations. Yeah, we want we don't want to get stuck in a, a fake out candle, something like this. Uh, you, you had the break to the upside and you think this market going to break higher. So we go down to the 15 minute time frame and try to understand what did I mean about that and uh, how uh, the trade would play. So again, we started to see this market putting lower highs, but at the same time it was putting higher lows, higher lows, lower highs, higher lows, lower highs. And it was clear that soon we're going to get a break either to the upside or to the downside. So as you see here, uh, and as I mentioned, waiting for a couple of candles, that would be uh, a break here. Is it enough to enter the trade or wait one more candle, which would be an entry here? Is it enough? Are you safe about that entry? That depends on your uh, trading skills and your uh, plan. But in our case and the confirmation entry I'm talking about after this break here, especially if you missed the move, 
you need to wait for the market to go back to that broken structure. And in this case, uh, the broken structure was this whole area here could be tested. Yeah. So if we look at this, this here, this support, many times this market did uh, test this level. So it is a good uh, structure, horizontal uh, structure here. So the flag is not needed anymore because uh, uh, the break uh, did happen. We did break previous structure. We did also see a break below this level here. And now it's all about waiting for that entry yeah we have the confirmation uh, it is a break to the downside the market start to correct higher now it's all about finding an entry either if you want to use it on the 15 minute time frame or on the one hour time frame so the 15 minute here in this case the market did a nice correction back up and after that when we reach this area of interest we've got this very nice bearish engulfing candle that is um, a very good signal for a potential entry on the open of the next candle we go with a stop loss above previous high if you want to go above this one in my case i would like to go above this previous high the major structure here and then we look for a target in this case somewhere down here near this uh, area where we also had um a couple of tests as a potential support so we expect some trouble here here we had a little bit of a fake out to then the market enter back inside so down here would be a good target my entry reason in this case would be this bearish engulfing candle on the 15 minute time frame also add to that we had uh, a uh, hidden bearish divergence on the rsi if you check this you will see that this high here is much lower than this high but on the rsi we had a hidden uh, bearish divergence which is also yet another reason to enter and after that we've got this uh, move to the downside here the market did not break previous structure which is an important thing to happen this could be a little bit worrying but then another confirmation we had a uh, market moving higher failed to break to the upside and start moving lower when this start to happen we are pretty sure that this uh, trade will probably move in our direction and uh, potentially break previous low which uh, also that was the case here we've got the break below this previous low and the continuation to the downside that is what we could do on the 15 minute time frame now if you would like to play it on the one hour time frame uh, you could also uh, do that and uh, the same scenario here we were not sure if the market will break to the upside or to the downside uh, out of this uh, pennant or flag and then we saw one hour candle break lower is that enough in my opinion no it is not enough because we still have the close was inside above these levels then we've got another yet another candle and many more candles down below this structure here which is a confirmation in my, in my opinion that's what i call a confir confirmation that we have a breakout so you have the first breakout you have a at least one confirmation candle and in this case we had many candles below this flag and below this structure after the correction this was a clear signal for a potential uh, selling pressure we had an inverted hammer as we know trading an inverted hammer at the light level could be helpful trading a hammer or whatever candlestick pattern at the wrong level is not a good idea especially if you don't have structure but in this case we knew that the market broke lower we want a reason to enter and here we've got this inverted hammer the entry would be um at the, uh, the open of the next candle in this case uh, it would look something like this and as i said earlier i like to my stop loss to be above the last major structure in this case in my opinion this is not the major structure this the, the high here is the last major structure a stop loss above that is much much safer than above this high here and again we target previous structure lows uh, some people like to trade near the bodies and i am one of them so what i mean about that my uh, target is uh, at the bodies of these candles down here and not all the way down here at the wicks because this was like 
a spike to the downside and then the market reversed so i think the uh, the better support and the potential uh, reversal if it will happen to the downside gonna be at these levels down here that's why i target most of the time the bodies of the candle at the uh, latest swing low or swing high depends on the trade so again guys the market moved to the downside did not break structure here which is an important thing to happen then we've got a rejection and then followed by bearish engulfing candle here and the continuation to the downside so again guys when you're not sure uh, you will never be sure actually about uh, the direction of the market but when you feel like you're uh, confused <clears throat> on the direction waiting for a confirmation <clears throat> sorry guys is always the best way to do and then wait for that correction or wait for the market to come back to you do not enter trade somewhere here chasing the price that will give you a little bit of a headache a little bit of a panic i mean if you would enter this market here you would still have uh, the trade going in your direction but you had to stand uh, one two three four five six hours until the market start really moving in the right direction and six hour it could be a lot especially for a new trader to wait on a trade i know that i've been there i've done that uh, i could couldn't uh, wait 15 candle uh, 15 minute candle to close um, without panicking so how about waiting six hours so always wait for the uh, the market to come back to you to your level of interest and then you enter the trade so uh, that is how it is done doing um, uh, the entry on confirmation i hope uh, you guys um, uh, got something uh, out of this and if you did please once again hit that like button for me uh, or leave a comment yeah so uh, yeah guys that was it for uh, how to um, enter a trade on confirmation and now we're gonna take a look at the uh, markets uh, for the upcoming week checking the news event we see that uh, not much on the calendar we have a short trading week uh, for the u.s because uh, monday uh, it's a holiday uh, for the u.s in canada tuesday no news at all no major events at least the first major event is on wednesday uh, we're gonna have um, for the rba governor lowy to speak and uh, not expecting fireworks thursday we're gonna have employment change and unemployment rate from the aussie and friday core uh, retail sales and retail sales month a month from the us so not a lot of events on the uh, color calendar for the next week so we start with the dixie and uh, we are going for the daily time frame as you know guys after uh, the break to the upside here on the dixie we've been talking about after this break we were talking about a retest and potential continuation now last week we've got this retest and a bullish engulfing candle and we were expecting the continuation to the upside but that did not happen and we've got a break to the downside on friday the market broke structure gave us another lower low and uh, it seems like it's uh, continuing lower uh, going back to retest this major support level that we've been talking about so for next week we once again gonna take a um, look at this area down here at around the 92 uh, to 9240 as a potential support area and see if this is gonna break because if this uh, structure here would break to the downside now that would be a big deal and we're gonna potentially have a big continuation to the downside on the dollar if we look left there is nothing here on the weekly time frame until this market reached the 88.20 uh, area so this is going to be a big deal this support level here we need to keep an eye on that looking on the daily chart we see that this structure is going to be an important level been tested many times so uh, this how it looks like last week we were looking for the continuation to the upside on the retest it didn't happen we saw the market fail to make a new high and that when i uh, told my guys in our trading room that we potentially going to have a break 
then we look for a retest and continuation toward this major structure and the main reason for that is guys if we look at this chart we start seeing the break to the downside here another lower high and then after this bounce we could not see a continuation we had another lower high and after that yet another lower high all that was showing that we have a huge pressure to the downside we had um, this support level that was sitting there for a while and then we've got the break to the downside so now after this break to the downside looking on the one hour time frame there is not much um, looking left here until we start uh, seeing the market testing these areas or potentially even lower at this uh, 90 90 92.5 area where we have the first major uh, support level so for the dollar next week if they fail to break above this level again or the monthly pivot point we are looking for a potential continuation to the downside back to that major level of support that i showed you on the daily looking at oil we see that oil still inside this uh, consolidation here looking on the daily time frame we have a clear range here now uh, on oil and that is um, what we gonna be trading uh, the next week until we have some kind of a break out of it so again on friday we've got a nice um, retest of this area to then get rejected so potentially uh, if this market reach back toward this uh, support here at around the monthly pivot point we might see a little bit of a bounce higher but otherwise it could if this gonna be broken we might see uh, oil keep consolidating inside this area any break above this high that would signal a continuation move back toward monthly r1 and these previous level of uh, resistance uh, up here on this market gold gold did a uh, break to the upside so uh, as you may know guys i've been talking about uh, waiting for gold to reach uh, the 1800 before the continuation but last friday and based on the, back on that uh, dollar weakness uh, we saw gold breaking to the upside above this uh, previous structure so gold uh, did enter back inside this area here of uh, that we had a good support at we were expecting resistance and continuation we've got a nice bearish engulfing candle but there was no continuation so gold broke higher once again and uh, we had a weekly and daily close uh, whoops uh, weekly and daily close above um, the, the the high here and uh, the market did enter back inside this uh, uh, support uh, area so for now and since we have a break above this i think if we get another higher low at the, at the retest here that would signal a continuation toward monthly r1 so this broken structure here now gonna be even more important on the retest if they fail to break lower then we potentially gonna see a move to the upside especially if the dixie would continue lower euro usd same scenario uh, but the opposite of the dixie so we had a break above previous high looking on the daily time frame we see that this area up here gonna be very very important uh, looking uh, at how many times it's been tested we had one two then fake out then another failure to break higher and these tests as you see many tests at this area and that where we had the market reversing to the downside so right now we have this bullish trend and we might see a continuation but i'm pretty interested to see what will happen when and if the market reach this area looking on the four hour time frame you see it clearly uh, why i am mentioning this level as potential trouble area so if the bulls really mean it they need to break above all these levels otherwise it could be a potential selling area here on the euro short term we might see continuation to upside toward this area i think this is now from here is the market objective after the break up out here we might see retest and continuation toward this area short term but then potentially selling pressure to come at this level 
USD Sterling, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, Sterling USD broke above uh, the uh, very important level here, the 1.300. We had uh, some kind of an inverted head and shoulder formation here. The neckline is broken on the daily time frame, broken on the weekly time frame as well, which means potential continuation to the upside to come here after this breakout. So keep an eye on this uh, structure as you see here. We had this whole structure got broken we do have the 200 moving average on the four hour here also got broken and uh, yeah what i'm looking for now to see if this market will hold above this level next week then potential continuation move from that broken structure here usd jappy we've talked about that now um, the continuation move is uh, the next question what will happen here is it uh, gonna break below the monthly pivot point at around 105.50 this gonna be a uh, good um, a structure uh, short term to keep an eye at if we're gonna get some kind of bounce to the upside otherwise if broken then we look for a retest and continuation the same as what happened here so you've got the break you look for the retest continuation yeah so if this to be broken next week look for a retest and continuation toward 105 USD chief also broke lower. So uh, this market after the break to the upside, we were looking for a retest and continuation. We had this bounce. I took a trade long, got stopped out. And now uh, the market broke to the downside, found support at 200 moving average, then failed to break higher and it was back down once again. So we see that the market is still in this bearish continuation trend to the downside. It did enter back inside this old range we had if we look on the daily time frame so we were talking about a higher low higher high and continuation okay so now what is the most important level uh, short term on this structure is down here this previous swings the last swing we had here on the market is a good level to watch and what I'm talking about is right this area this is gonna be very important if this uh, hold as support, then uh, the bulls might still have a chance to push this market. Otherwise, if they break, we might continue to the downside. So keep an eye on this structure here for next week. It could be a good level for uh, the bulls to defend. So it's going to be pretty interesting to watch and see what will happen when and if this market reach this level. Looking left, there is nothing on the way, so it might continue. Now, if the continuation does not happen and you see a correction back toward this area, I think this might be a good level to look for a sell back down toward this target if the market start correct without reaching that market objective level I'm talking about. USD CAD, same scenario. We had a break to the downside. We were expecting break, retest, continuation. That did not happen. And we have also a break below uh, a major swing here if we look left we had this major swing low here now broken and there is nothing on the way until we reach back toward this level um, that we had the previous support at so the market might retest this key structure here it is an important support level looking left been tested many times and uh, we need to wait and see when and if the market reaches that area so again guys after breaking this structure breaking below this swing as well now there is one direction only i'm interesting of and that is to the downside so same here if we start seeing a correction could be potential selling area here at around the yearly pivot point for one more leg to the downside now after this break lower Aussie USD also broke to the upside as you see here we've got a swing high now we have an initial move a higher low a break above previous highs so the market did enter a potential bullish phase again so we had this break to the downside and we start looking for a continuation move here it is it, it did start a continuation move but then failed to continue lower and gave us the first higher low and a break above the neckline 
as for now this means we look for a potential continuation after this break above this structure yeah it is an important structure monthly pivot point as well so support here resistance here a couple of time and now that is broken so any retest that failed to break lower we look for a potential one more leg to the upside on uh, Aussie, uh, Aussie USD and the same for New Zealand USD this one still inside this range here as you see so it is still the top of the range is the very important level and the bottom of the range nothing has changed here since there was no break to the downside we had break of the neckline we were looking for a retest and continuation and as all the rest of the market there was no big continuation lower so after the break above the neckline now we do have a swing high a higher low another swing high and potential continuation back to the top uh, on this market going down to the four hour time frame as you see we have the break above this structure so right now we look for a retest any failure to continue lower if we start getting another higher low we are looking for a continuation toward monthly r1 on this market so uh, yeah guys that was it for this week thanks a lot and uh, see you next sunday bye bye